Hello, Val Andy here, your host at the Galaxy Report with two stories that alter our knowledge of planet Earth, our galaxy, and the vast cosmos beyond. Our first story is a journey to the center of the Milky Way. The second, a chilling warning from China's philosopher of alien civilizations and science fiction author Liu Chixin. Story one takes us on a journey to probe bizarre phenomenon detected near Milky Way's supermassive black hole, the central region of extreme astrophysics and home to some of the oldest, most massive stars in the universe. These stars are surprisingly pristine, but contain material from an even earlier star, which died in an enormous hypernova explosion. Our Milky Way galaxy formed around them. That went over. These objects look like gas and behave like stars, says Andrea Ghez, director of the UCLA Galactic Center Group, about a new class of strange objects with orbits ranging from 100 to 1,000 years, the very center of our galaxy, not far from the seductive dragon known as Sagittarius A. These odd objects look compact most of the time, but then stretch out when their orbits bring them closest to the massive object's event horizon. The Galactic Center is a unique collection of very exotic objects that have intrigued astronomers for decades, including a strangely quiet black hole, a collection of wispy magnetic filaments, a few dense stellar superclusters which host mysterious and massive stars, and a family of gas streamers spiraling toward the cloaked mystery of a dark central mass. In 2012, astronomers in Germany made a puzzling discovery of a bizarre object named G2 in the center of the Milky Way. Gez and her research team believe that G2 is most likely two stars that had been orbiting the black hole in tandem, and then merged into an extremely large star, cloaked in an unusually thick gas and dust. Gez believes that these objects were binary stars, a system of two stars orbiting each other that had merged because of the extremely strong gravitational force of the supermassive black hole. It's a merger that has taken more than one million years to complete. In our second story, Liu Chixin, the author of The Three-Body Problem, warns that the appearance of an other might be imminent and that it might result in our extinction. Perhaps in 10,000 years, the starry sky that humankind gazes upon will remain empty and silent, he says. But perhaps tomorrow, we'll wake up and find an alien spaceship the size of the moon parked in orbit. In the dark forest cosmos like the one he imagines, no civilization would ever send a beacon unless it were a death monument, a powerful broadcast announcing the center's impending extinction. If a civilization were about to be invaded by another, or incinerated by a gamma ray burst, or killed off by some other natural cause, it might use the last of its energy reserves to beam out a dying cry to the most life-friendly planets in its vicinity. In a fascinating interview with The Atlantic, Liu said his work is influenced by the history of Earth's civilizations, especially the encounters between more technologically advanced civilizations and the original settlers of a place. One such encounter occurred in the 19th century, Liu observed, when the Middle Kingdom of China, around which all of Asia, Asia once resolved, looked out to the sea and saw the ships of Europe's seafaring empires, whose ensuing invasion triggered a loss of status for China that's comparable to the fall of Rome. Meanwhile, Li Dai, chief scientist of China's FAST, FAST, the new 500-meter aperture spherical telescope, the world's largest and most powerful new radio telescope, says that with no clues of extra extraterrestrial life over the past five decades, Questions are constantly asked as whether the search methods are appropriate. Some strange signals, he says, have been found, but it's hard to confirm their origins because these signals do not repeat. We look not only for television signals, but also for nuclear bomb signals. We'll give full play to our imaginations when processing them, Lee says. It's a complete exploration. We have no idea what alien intelligence is like. Val Landy signing off. Please support us by clicking on the subscribe button and visit us at dailygalaxy.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you.